everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'd like to share with you a gatefold folio that I've created and I followed a tutorial by Frances and her YouTube channel is Your Book of Memories and I'll have the uh, link in the description box below. It's a really great tutorial and it's a really fabulous folio and it's a gift that I intend to give someone who is not necessarily a scrapbooker. So um, this is a really great idea for, um, I think, a, a project that you could give um, anyone really. And the paper collection that I've used is Stargazer by Kaisercraft. And it's a really, really beautiful collection. So the project actually measures uh, six and three quarter inches and it's about nine inches and the binding is just about one and a half inches I would say. So on the front of the um, portfolio, of the uh, folio rather, I've used um, papers from the collection and these are flowers from the sticker sheet and this is from one of the Carter parts that um, Kaisercraft have um, on the back of one of their 12 by 12 papers. Uh, I kept the design on the front and the back it's the same paper and I just use a complementary paper for the spine. I also used uh, papers from the paper bag, pad rather to complete these projects so I'll do my best to keep in frame um, when I'm sharing this so hopefully um, everything fits because it's quite big when you open it up. So the front is um, closed with magnets and it opens up like so. So inside you have a waterfall on the left panel and the middle panel and then there is um, pockets on the right. So this side panel here is a waterfall and it's held with magnets. And this is actually from the collectibles, which I also used from the uh, collection. And inside, these papers are actually from the paper pad. So um, for the smaller parts, I use the papers from the paper pad. And for the middle section of the folio, I use papers from the 12 by 12. So inside... I've used um, complementary papers throughout and then I did a strip of paper in between and I also matted the back with black. So you could either put um, photos here or you could do some journaling. So I've done that throughout. And any leftovers, that's what I use to put in this section here. And again, this is closed with a magnet. On the right hand side we've got two pockets and this is a little sentiment from the collectibles and inside the pocket I um, there's little um, tags and just to make it easier um, I just did a little pull and attached a ribbon so um, these are from the cutter parts and I left the back blank so you could either journal or put another photo there if you wish that just slides back inside there and again there's another one here with love and it's blank on the back oops doesn't want to go back inside and then this opens up and inside there are some um, pockets and you can put more photos in here if you wish and I've matted both sides so you can write on here if you'd like and here is a taller one so this closes up and here is the middle section and these um, are two collectibles and I just layered them and I just really love the really lovely um, sayings and the sentiments from this and I use 12 by 12 papers for this section of the uh, folio. And this again is 
um, sealed with magnets or closed with magnets and same thing I have black on the back and you can either put um, some journaling or your photos here and little strips going down the centre and that closes up and this opens up and I left this blank because you could put some photos and these are from the sticker sheet and this was just um, some of the 12 by 12 um, strips um, at the base of the case craft papers um, I really used up as much of the paper as I could and I just thought that was a nice little touch in the center we have um, this section here so um, I really like this sentiment when you count the stars begin with yourself embrace the moonlight of your dreams and this is a flap you can put a photo here and it opens up and there's two more pockets and again these are from the cutter parts and I left them blank on the back and there's still more room in here for other bits and here is a large photo mat as well and that just slides back in there and so this goes back like this like this and that seals back because we have that lovely magnet closure so I hope you enjoy this uh, project the instructions are available on your book of memories um, YouTube page along with all the dimensions if you'd like to create it um, also this paper collection absolutely beautiful and perfect as a gift for someone. So thanks so much for stopping by and have a wonderful day.